Hey dudes, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some incredible advice that I picked up along the pathway of life on finding that motivation that I needed to accomplish the thing. Before we start, don't forget if you are potentially looking to have a YouTube channel and earn a full-time living from that, or maybe, I don't know, you're trying to get shredded up for summer, or you wanna grab literally the most incredible template for the greatest productivity tool on earth, I have a bunch of links in the description below, literally like just below my finger here, which I can confidently say will at some level change your life. And I can confidently say that because we literally just sold the one thousandth unit and the feedback that we've had across the board on all of them has been absolutely phenomenal. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video. A lot of people assume that motivation will come to them a bit like a thought does, that it will just drift in like a cloud at some random time and force you to go and do the thing. You even often hear people say, I need to go and find motivation to do this. This is absolutely not how it works at all. As human beings, naturally, our brain deters us away from doing anything that is out of the ordinary. Ordinary being waking up, going to work or school, coming home, eating dinner, watching TV, and going to bed. Anything that breaks that cycle or routine that is so deeply ingrained into us is classed as out of the ordinary. So if you all of a sudden try and throw in there, go to the gym right now and lift super heavy weights or go for a run in freezing cold, hammering down rain, I guess even if somebody said to you, start that 100,000 word essay that's due in a week's time, your body freezes up and your mind goes into a state of survival. And this is purely down to the fact that you don't find motivation and then action happens. Motivation does not inspire action. It's actually the other way around and the most important part of this entire video that action inspires motivation. I learned a very valuable nugget of information when I met Tony Robbins back last year. He spoke about something called a success cycle. He says that this is at play in every habit that we build in every vertical of our life, whether that be work, finance, fitness, relationships, or even hobbies and passions. You absolutely have to take the action first. Take the action and the motivation to continue will follow naturally. Motivation, by the way, as a word, is literally a category of smaller words that make up its meaning. If you could take the words potential, action, results, and certainty, and warp them all together into one word, that word would be motivation. For us to really understand this a bit deeper, we have to look at the four stages of this cycle. I'm sure you will see, however, that I feel that depending on the kind of person you are, you can either jump into this cycle at stage one or stage two. Stage one is potential. This is the most important ingredient in all of this. It all begins with the perspective that we hold on ourselves in terms of how much potential we believe we have to do the thing. Here's a great quote from Henry Ford. Whether you believe you can or cannot, either way, you are right. Stage two is action. Having a strong, positive belief in your own potential will inspire you to take massive action. Stage three is results. If you have a strong belief in your potential, which inspires you to take massive action, you will 100% guarantee yourself that you will get results. And stage four of the cycle is certainty. This is the final ingredient in all of this. It is potential realized, action taken, results produced, which all together gives you that level of certainty that you can indeed do the thing. And it's that level of certainty which strokes the belief system which in turn builds up the belief that we have in the potential to do the thing, which will inspire more action, which will get more results, which will give more certainty, which build, you see where I'm going with this, the damn ball is rolling. Listen, I often get asked where I find the motivation or the inspiration to uh, run, cycle, gym, boxing, full intensity, high intensity workouts, seven days a week, and run a YouTube channel and an Instagram growth business and all the little other stuff that I do on the side as little side hustles here in the world of online content creation and still manage to have time to relax with my family and have a girl that I talk to every day, all day pretty much probably cover that a bit more in detail in another video and honestly the answer to that is a long-winded one it is this video like this video I can send to people now and say this is how I find the motivation to continue to do all of those things once upon a time I decided 
that I did have the potential to do all of that stuff every single day. And I fully believe that I did. So I did it and all of the action that I'd done gave me results every single day, which gave me the certainty that I could indeed do it and I carried on doing it. Yes, I do believe that you could potentially maybe somewhat hack this cycle by maybe, I don't know, watching like those videos on YouTube of athletes winning stuff with uh, classical orchestra music and Alan Watts narrating over the top of it. But I would say understand that this is I'd probably called something like uh, dopamine motivation. Almost the same thing as kind of putting a band-aid over a cut. It could very well work and it might very well inspire you to start doing the thing. I have no idea. I don't watch those videos anymore. But my question would be on a deeper level, would you rather get jacked up watching that one motivational video and maybe go to the gym for a day and then never go to the gym ever again? Or would you rather understand the psychological makeup of the brain and how it works when it comes to building habits and staying motivated about doing things? Most people would agree that it would be more beneficial to you as a human being to fix that first part of the cycle, which is your potential and your belief in your potential. I guess with motivation it all just boils down to absolutely believing that you can and then everything else flows naturally after the fact into this nice little cycle circle thing. Now you might be thinking to yourself well it's all well and good telling somebody they need to fix their limiting beliefs or they need to fix their belief system in what they think they are potentially able to achieve. For some people it's a lot harder than just saying that. You're absolutely right for some people it absolutely is and for those people as I mentioned earlier I would skip that stage altogether and I would enter the cycle at the point of action. The simple act of your brain saying, oh my god, no, don't do this, you can't do this, we're not doing this, this is out of a comfort zone, we're not doing it, and you saying, f*** you, I'm going to do it anyway, and going ahead and doing it, and doing it repeatedly until you get those results come in that gives you the certainty, that might be a better option for you depending on the type of person you are. Like I said before, you are either somebody who will start at working on their uh, understanding their belief of their own potential and coming into the cycle that way or you are somebody who probably has limiting beliefs and doesn't want to go through that whole process and just wants to fully commit and understands that if they just jump in at the action just say I'm going to get up today and I'm just going to do it no matter what my brain says or my ego or whatever they just jump in at the point of action either way it doesn't really matter that much you are going to end up in the cycle and inevitably you are going to end up at results and certainty which is going to continue spinning around. Before I go I just want to say a couple of quick words on believing in our own potential if I may. Let me tell you this it's my belief and understanding that us as human beings we are stupid me included even people with high IQs can be totally stupid when it comes to belief in our potential most of us have such low standards and expectations we believe so little in ourselves when it comes to the realm of possibilities what an incredible tragedy it is that most people in pretty much all walks of life don't achieve their full potential in life purely because their belief in themselves is so low and the boundaries of what society sets as what is achievable really affects them. So whatever way you choose to enter into the cycle, please do. I am a walking example of just deciding one day that I'm going to take massive action. And that action has inspired me to raise the belief system within me that I can achieve whatever I want to. I am now at a stage in my life where I truly believe that within the limits of reality, anything is possible and I can achieve success in anything that I put my mind to. I feel like a winner and the universe is supporting me and I'm in constant abundance of greatness. And that all started for me by taking the action to jump into that cycle. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you aren't part of this community already. And checking out any of those links in the description below would be much appreciated. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys next week. Peace.